Welcome back to the Realmworks tutorial video series. In this video, we'll walk through creating and editing your first topic. Creating topics is the first and most important building block in world creation. Let's create a topic to describe a character in the world. Click the blue plus button next to the people heading in the navigation pane. A dialog will appear asking what category of person we want to create. The individual category seems to best fit what we want to create, so choose that. Notice that an unnamed individual topic has been created, with all sorts of information to fill in. Let's give our new individual a name. Using the box at the top of the contents pane, type the name you want. Click the Save button or use Control S. Click the Leave Edit button. This shows our topic in view mode without the editing features. That's all there is to creating any topic. Just click the Create button next to any heading, choose a category, give your new topic a name, and save. Topics are meant to organize and convey a potentially large amount of information. Each topic you create can be as simple or complex as you like. At the top of each topic is the heading bar. The heading bar shows you the name of the topic, the category icon for that topic, and several buttons for manipulating the current topic. Those will be covered in future videos. Topics are broken down into numbered, titled sections, similar to a wiki or the headings in a book. Each section contains snippets. Snippets are pieces of information that the player can learn about a topic independently from other pieces of information. This concept is central to one of Realmworks' main features, our patent-pending fog-of-world technology, which we'll discuss in a later video. For now, just keep in mind that information is generally broken apart into chunks the players can learn one piece at a time, rather than mashed together into one big block of text. Our topic is pretty generic right now. Let's fix that by filling in some interesting details. To edit a topic in view mode, either double click in any field or click the edit button in the topic header bar. You can click in any field to begin editing it or use the arrow or tab keys to move between fields. You'll notice that many sections have a single snippet in them with grayed out text. These are starter snippets to give you an idea of how to begin adding details to the topic. They can be easily removed if you don't want to use them, but let's keep them around for now. Click the dialog button next to Gender Male. This will open a tag choosing dialog, allowing you to choose a different tag. Choose the tag Female and click OK. Sometimes it can be helpful to have a character's introductory quote ready to go. Let's add one for this character. Click the empty text snippet in Overview and type a quote. Click the Overview section Add Snippet button. As you can see, in addition to text and tags, there are many other kinds of snippets you can add to your topics. These will be covered in future videos. Choose Text from the menu. A new snippet appears ready for me to add new details about the topic. Notice how I created a second snippet for this information rather than tacking it onto the end of the first one. This is important as the players might learn these two pieces of information at different times, which will come into play when we talk about fog of world and player view features in a later video. Realmworks will ask you if you want to save whenever it needs to, but it doesn't hurt to save often. Press the save button to save your work and press the Leave Edit button to return to View mode. Many additional features are available for topics and snippets. The Realm Starting Point gives you a central location from which to link out to important topics and introduce and orient your players to the Realm. In the Tools menu for Topics, you can create alternate names with Manage Aliases, Move a Topic from the Story Almanac to the World Almanac, and more. You can drag and drop snippets and sections to change their order. The Snippet Tools menus provide many additional features, allowing you to add truth levels 
and also add additional GM directions to any snippet or as a standalone from the section Add Snippet button. Both of these features are visible to the GM only. You now know how to create, edit, add snippets to, and save topics. Just these few simple tools give you a huge amount of power to create worlds. So take some time to get comfortable with these tools by adding more interesting details to your character. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out the next video in the series.